We tried to go to get these Popeye chicken sandwiches, and uh, we failed. We failed miserably. We went to three locations, and every location was had no chicken. It was uh, it it, it, it hurts. I remember, it came out what Wednesday. And yeah. So everybody wants it, and plus it's Sunday. And what do people Down do? Sunday, what do people do after church? They don't have, have nothing to do. Yes, with it has that. everything to do with it. Yes, people go. If it came out on... to chicken, they always go to a chicken restaurant after church, including Baptist church. Well, actually, no, they go to Golden Corral. Have you never been to a Golden Corral on a Sunday? Never. So yeah, that's probably it. Then. Yeah, if, go to Golden Corral on a Sunday and see how how annoying it is. Like you will, you like you have people like church mothers. You know what I'm saying? From you know, from here to here, you know what I'm saying, with a church hats, just like why it ain't no more mashed potatoes. You know what I'm saying? It's just like uh, like come on man, like didn't you didn't you just come from like worshiping the Lord <laughs> and now you're getting ready to stab this little boy because he took the last of the peach cobbler? I don't know, it's just like And for all we know, because this was a pretty interesting thought, for all we know, they probably weren't even at a chicken. I used to work in retail, ladies and gentlemen, and there's these things called hatchables, okay? These, it, they're like Furbies, um, they're like Furbies mixed with like different animals and you know, you get an egg and then they hatch itself and then you feed it and it's stupid. We had bundles of those in the back and they told us not to stock them. We had, bro, I'm telling you, we had boxes that could fill up this whole room. You know what I'm saying? And they told us not to stock them because they said, and if you do stock them, stock them like put out only like 10. <laughs> so you have only have, you only have 10 you know what I'm saying? And then the rest of the aisle is empty because they want people to keep going to different places to see if they can find more uh, the, the, the different re the same retailer. Yeah. Like, so if what, we go to a Target here, oh, it's not here, let's go to the one down the street. Oh, it's not there, let's go to this one over here. Oh, let's go back to this one and see if it has it. They told they told us to do that on purpose. So for all we know, there's probably a freezer full of them sandwiches. <laughs> You have one of the customers trying to sneak inside the like the back room, whatever. Mm -hmm. and they're like, hey, they got millions and millions of the chicken sandwiches here. Right. Everybody rushes in. <laughs> hey, bro. Right. What Popeyes did was a smart business move. It was smart. We're not taking that away from them. But there are going to be people that are going to try to make this more than just like business. They're going to try to be like, oh, make it a moral thing. You know what I'm saying? Like how people, like I just said earlier, you know what I'm saying about that person who was like trying to get on me because I was I had Chick-fil-A when we were filming. You know, it's just like people are going to try to like use that and be like, oh, well, you could just go here. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to put politics into me eating yes. my own food. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. Remember oh. the Papa John's guy? Yeah, that to me wasn't really enough for me to like boycott either, honestly. Just well, the dude used racial slurs. That's not him, enough. Just for him saying what the what was it? He said yeah, the N word. Right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I, I, I don't <laughs> know what was the context. I, I completely the con. Forgot. There's no I, you, like, don't, you don't need no I context. I mean, he like, said it. People see it all the time. You're not gonna start talking to them or what? All right. Well, first off, first off, talking to these guys hold on what? for a second. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Let me hear this. This is gonna be good. All right. Hold the on, context on. has ap like it doesn't like. All right. Like it's not like he was riding around listening to like Lil Wayne, and you know what I'm saying he was just like yeah da, 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 <laughs> yeah nigga da, 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 you know what I'm saying it's not like he was doing that. He said it in a racial in a racial. If he point. said like oh man look at uh, look at those. Niggas is uh, playing basketball. If you say like that, then yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He that's what he said, though, right? Yes. Okay. But hey, then that's pretty bad. Then. Yeah, I was just like, what, in that's what context? Bad. Like, <laughs> yo, yeah, uh, Papa was at a was at a rap concert. You know, someone <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone caught him using the N word at a Snoop Dogg concert, and then, well, no, I mean, like, yeah, if the context, I mean, if he used the N word, is just like, you know, but honestly, like I said. Using it in the way I said it, yeah, it's bad. But just saying it freely, it really doesn't bother me whatsoever. Like, people just saying it. What? 
when people say the n-word the white people it doesn't bother me it really doesn't what i'm confused what do you mean if people say the n-word the white people like you mean like like if they, they say freely say oh nigga that nigga that nigga that yeah it doesn't bother me because i have people back at uh carney who says it mm-hmm. it doesn't bother me whatsoever sure and there's a lot of them black people down the carney too with them mm-hmm. and they don't care either you know what I have re- kind of realized that like with when like white kids do like use like the n-word it's just like sometimes like a lot of times I realize that this, these same kids also have like black friends with them yeah exactly and if they were racist then they wouldn't have their black fr- black friends period exactly so it's just like so with them saying it it's just like that doesn't mean that they're racist because if they were racist they wouldn't want anything to do with you exactly you know what i'm saying so it's just like that's not for me to say that i'm like i want everyone to say it because it's like to me i like i'm like kind of like you i don't care but like i said before you remember what happened with broderick Oh, it's like, dang, 12 years ago? Yeah, you remember ago. what happened with Broderick? Yeah, that's right. He, he said, he, he's like, you're not going to say it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he said it, and you punched him. And he looked at me, and I just looked at him, just like, I got nothing for you, man. <laughs> you said it. Oh, man. I remember that for Yeah, you said it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if you said it, you a white dude said it, you know what could happen if you said it. You said it, Jonathan punched you, and it's just like, yeah. I don't have nothing for you. I can't defend you. I don't give a crap, but he may. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I think someone, like, going back to the Chick-fil-A thing, I think someone tried to get me to be like, yeah, man, you know, Chick-fil-A said that they don't like having hiring black people. And I was just like, that's stupid, because I've been to plenty of Chick-fil-A's, and they have <laughs> black, uh, cust- uh, um... Yeah, black cashiers, everything. Yeah. Man. Like, what oh. the heck? Hey, yo, you, I saw something really funny. It was this girl outside of Chick-fil-A. She had Chick-fil-A. And in, in the bag, and she had like she had like a middle finger flipping like the bird to the camera. She was just like, "Oh, they don't support gay people, but they must support gay money." I was just like, "You're an idiot! Like you just spent your money to prove a point. Like what were you trying to prove? That they would take your money? Yes, they would take your money. Anyone would take your money. Anybody. Yeah, like if like you could give walk up to a homeless man, he would take your money. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you go to Walmart, they would take your money. You can go to Shopco or whatever." Target, Payless, they will take your money. Like, what are you trying to prove? Hold on, so she was gay, right? I'm sorry. Um, yes, okay, like I, I, she either she. I mean, I'm assuming that she was either gay or one of those social justice warriors. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And she was posing outside with her middle finger up, talking about, "Oh well, the Chick Fil A don't support gay people, but they'll take gay money." It's like, well, first off, they probably didn't even know you were gay. And even if you were gay, they wouldn't give a crap. They're like, okay, well, um, what do you what do you want? You know what I'm saying? What do you want? Did you want something to eat? You know what I'm saying? Like that. I think this is the thing that people need to understand. All right. I gotta go there. I got I'm just gonna briefly touch on this. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just gotta briefly touch on this. If a gay person were to walk into Chick Fil A, they would not give a crap. They would not be like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> queer, queer. <laughs> Battle stations! You know what I'm saying? It's just like... Call hey. the police! Right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a gay guy that's just like, sir. <laughs> sir, gay. His <laughs> pants is too... Yeah, exactly. Like, they have radars. <laughs> Your pants are too tight. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... It, no, they don't... They don't have stuff like that. So it's just like... There's no way of knowing that you're gay if you were to just walk in there and start being like... Oh, how am I help you today? Yeah, I'm gay. Uh, can I get uh, number two? You know what I'm saying? Is this like... So there. Easy. Get on my floor now. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> or like he's like, oh, order for Steve? Thanks, I'm gay. And they're like, oh, okay. And they snatch the tray back and throw it in the tray. Boy, <laughs> eat outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four brothers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get on the floor. You know what I'm saying? You want to come to the restaurant? <laughs> eat. <laughs> eat. Eat. <laughs> It's just like, but you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's not, it. it's not anything like that. So it's just like the only thing that's different is that this this dude who's in chain of command said, "Okay, this is what I personally believe." Mm-hmm. Okay, I believe that marriage should be between one man and one woman. Mm-hmm. And for all you know, there are plenty of owners who own these corporations who think like that. They just don't want to say it because they're scared. 
They don't want their business to be affected. Okay? Let's just get that out of there. But him saying that, that doesn't mean that there, there are probably people who work for him mm-hmm. who are homosexual. You remember when everyone was trying to boycott it? Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, their sales skyrocketed. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. Please don't boycott this podcast. <laughs> Please don't boycott the podcast. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> gays for, like, good 20 minutes. Right? <laughs> like... They're just like, hmm. David Terrell. Wow.